Hello everybody, thanks for checking in. Um, in this video we will be going over the mega menu settings within Cadence and um, I will be going from the really basic stuff and I will also show you how we can make a really awesome uh, custom mega menu combining the default settings with the uh, Cadence elements uh, functionality. Okay. First things first, we have to activate our mega menu from within this one. We go to Appearance, Cadence, and then we have to click on Ultimate Menu. So if you enable this, <clears throat> there will be an option here, Customize. If you click on Customize, you will open up your um, men menu settings. So this is just Appearance Menus, and this is just a default standard menu. Um, these are all just um dummy pages that i've put in so they aren't real pages but just to have some uh some some pages inside of my menu to show um i have a home page a category one archive and a category two archive this is the same layout i've already used this in previous videos where we made a custom uh, archive so these are the same ones uh, but now you will see we will have extra if you click on this little arrow you will have this one here menu item settings and from within this we can have label settings and you can add custom icons. So I've already made one here. Let me disable and I've checked it. This is for my homepage. So I made it the icon of the, the house like the homepage. I've added this here and I put it on the left side. The thing we can do is change the color of the icon. Let's make it dark and we can also set a custom size. Let me just take uh, 20 just to see what it does. OK. And then you see here on the right side, we have the mega settings. <clears throat> if we click on this, this will open up some extra functionality and we have, we can enable or disable by default. It's not enabled. So click on it. And then we have a mega menu drop down enabled and we can check here, um, which width do we want to enable? So we can set a custom width. If you want to have it by default, 400 pixels, or you want it to have a hundred pixels, you can set this whatever you want 120 is the minimum amount i suppose yeah 120 but you can also um, make it uh, the width of the content so it will span across the, be as wide as the content is wide but i'm going to go with the full width option for now and then you can set how many columns you want your um, mega menu to be so this can be going from one until six columns like this yeah i'm going to go with one column for now but I will show you how it looks like if I change this to two or to three. And then we have some background settings so we can change the, the color. We can also set an image. So let me show you. Just pick like this image. And we want it to be center center, no repeat, and it has to be covered. You can set some padding. And you can set some uh, links, uh, the colors of the links and the background, if you want the background, and then some padding. So I'm just going to save and close. And then I will go to my cat one. This is my header. You already see that my icon on the home page is here. And it's only, it was bigger, but now you see that the icon is almost not visible. So let me just fix this first before we go further. So the label settings icon, and let me just remove this and go to 150, for example, save and close, refresh here. And then you see the icon is now bigger. Then you see we have now the custom background, but you see my um, categories are not really like the like here. This is the default menu that you can set up with the customizer. And this is looking like this. And only for my home, I have enabled the mega menu settings. And this means only for this drop down, the mega menu will be enabled. And you can see this here that the other ones do not have the same functionality. So if I want them to have the same functionality, then I have to go to the second one. And then I have to go to menu item settings and also enable mega menu drop down. And I can just just to show you full width, I'm going to take the same settings, I'm going to set a image same image as well go center center no repeat and cover 
save and close. And then if I go back to my cat one, refresh. Now you see this one as well has the custom background and spans across the full width together with my home. Yeah, But you see here, it stays the default one. So if you want the mega menu to be enabled for all of them, then you have to set it to, you have to enable it with um, every main link, you have to enable it and then you will have this. Yeah? So these settings have been enabled and you see it gives us some functionality, but it's not exactly looking great at the moment. Yeah? Let me just show you if I um, go with this one. It has two children here. Yeah, so the second one, one, two. So there are two underneath. If I change my mega menu settings to, for example, two columns, just to show you what will happen. If I refresh, now you see one, one and two. So they are next to each other now. So they have a, now they span across two columns. So that's the main difference between them. Yeah. Let me change it back to one. Yeah. Then some padding, uh, because now you see without the padding, this one is a bit bigger. And that's because I have set some padding to the top, some padding to the bottom. And I've also set some padding from the left side and from the right side. And you can see that it's uh, that my, my item is more in the, in the center. Here, there is no padding enabled. So you see this is way too small. So a basic thing you can do here is just set some padding. I think I might have used something like 60 pixels. And then you can, of course, set some colors if you want to, uh, if you want to make it, um, if you want to have it a, have a background. Let me just let it be like this, just so you can see. So I've set some padding from the top and from the bottom, and I changed the color. So now you see there are 60 pixels on top, there are 60 pixels on bottom. And then you see now the background of the link is white, just what I've enabled right here. And it has a color of black. Yeah, I can also disable this and go away. And then refresh just to let you see. And now you see it has no background anymore. And then it's just a black color that still is selected. Okay, so this is one option to do some basic stuff. But you see, this is not really, I wouldn't use this image, for example, because it's just readability wise, it's not really uh, working too well. But just to show you some basic settings that you can use to start off your mega menu. So you have to select the main, um, the main menu, the main menu link. And now you have to enable it for each one because otherwise you stay with the default um, menu that you've set up in the customizer here. Yeah. So I've set it now for home and for the second one. Then we can go further. So we have, for example, we've used this for the home one and we've used this for this one. Yeah. Now we can go to the two underneath and we can enable menu item settings. Same, same thing, we can set a custom icon, for example, a little arrow on the left side with a dark color, but we can again go with the mega settings and you see we can enable custom content. This custom content is something we can create, but I don't have it created yet. So we will first do some, some things with cadence elements and then we come back and we will enable this. But for now, let me just save and close and show you what I've just done now with the, now you will see this one, it's a little bit small, but you see it has like the little arrow on the left side. Yeah. But, we will now do something so we can replace this one with some custom content. So this means if I hover over, this option will completely be customized by my settings that I now will be setting up. Okay, so let me show you. We go to elements, cadence elements. If you don't see it, you have to go to cadence and you have to enable the hook it elements, and then you will have this option. We're going to create a new one, just a content section, and we will call this mega menu. 
um, this is fine. We're not going to set any uh, placement settings because we don't need it for the sake of um, the mega menu. We're going to well, we're going to set it to the entire site, and we're going to just set it to be visible for all users, so we don't have any conflict when we use it. We'll publish it, and then I'm going to, for example, use a row layout. <coughs> This is when one with three columns, and this is exactly what I was planning to do. So this is good for me. And then we're going to add some info boxes, and we are going to duplicate this one, and we'll drag it next to, and we're going to duplicate it once more, and we're going to drag it again next to it. So we have three of the same. And now we're going to change the layout to this and we're going to go to style, media. I want maybe a image instead of a, and we're going to just select some images. Doesn't really matter. We'll use 100 pixels for now is fine. This can be a bit lower. We're going to set it to landscape four by three and we're going to remove the or it's at a little bit of border radius, like 11 pixels is fine. This is all looking fine. And we're going to disable the text. We're going to remove the border, just set it to zero. And we're going to maybe also remove the background, just going to set it transparent so it's uh, not visible anymore. And then we're going to set this to, for example, my cat1 uh, archive, my cat2, and this is going to be my cat3, for example. I don't even think I have a cat3, uh, category 3 at the moment, but just for showing you. Then we're going to copy this style and we're going to paste the style in here. So it exactly has the same, all the same settings, but we might want to change the image for each of one. So we're going to select a other, another image. This one is good. And then we're going to select another one here. And just taking this guy walking like this. Okay, so we have three. Now we have to set the links. So this can be um, my... Um, category archive um, that we the link for it so let me open it up this one category cat one so I'm going to copy and going to paste it in here and then just save it like this and then for this one I'm going to paste it in here but it's going to be cat two so I'm just going to change it and then this one is not uh, has not I don't think I have a category three so I'm just going to put in a hashtag so it's like it's going to be, look like a link but it's not going to lead anywhere and click on update okay now i have created this mega menu and now you will see if i go back to my menu for example let me take my home so i've already with menu items enabled mega menu drop down it's full width and it only has one column yeah now i'm going to go to i'm going to remove all the settings that i just used That was just to show you and I'll, so everything is back to default the only thing that's still enabled is full width one column save and close and then we're going to go to the cat one sub item going to open up the settings and we are going to go to the mega settings don't doesn't really matter what we put here because we're going to enable custom content like this and my mega menu is now inside these are my other elements that i've used um, for other purposes, so I'm not going to use these ones because this is the, like the template for my category one. So if I this is my category one with the custom fading in animation with the uh, images that go from gray to color. So I've made this in another video. If you want, you can check it out. Um, so this is, for example, this one that's also showing up. But of course, I'm not going to import this inside of my menu. I only want to import my mega menu that I've just created. Let me just save and close save the menu and let me go and see what it does now so we open up home and we have to check something else mega menu was not selected for whatever reason so save and close again 
and let me refresh open it up and wow look like this cat1 cat2 cat3 so we have imported exactly the layout that we've created here inside of my mega menu and uh, the full width is uh, the thing so if i open my home backup and i change this to uh, maybe a custom width of 120 pixels and save and close you will see this is messing up everything so it's not going to take in the width that i've set here it's going to take the width that i've set with my parent element yeah so menu item settings mega settings make sure the width is wide enough if you make like like something with three columns like i've done now so i'm going to change it back to full width because this is going to work the best and then refresh it again and you see cat1 cat2 cat3 so this is looking nice and this is the cat2 one so this is one we should we could replace as well or i could have made a cat1 only this one and then the cat2 replaced this cat2 with this cat2 for example yeah but in this case what i could do because this one is going to link to my cat1 archive this one is going to go to my cat2 archive with another layout yeah, so this is working exactly fine and you see my header has changed now and that's because i'm i have made a conditional header that's only displayed on my cat one also something i've shown uh, in another video so you can check it out again if you want to um, and this cat three is not going to do anything because i just set a hashtag because i don't have a cat three for the mo at the moment yeah so what i can do if i just want to remove this and i want to keep this layout i'm just going to go back to my menu and i can just go here close this one out open my cat 2 and just click on remove yeah i don't exactly need it anymore because i have replaced let me refresh cat 1 my cat 2 is exactly where it should be in this layout yeah the only thing i don't like at the moment is like i should maybe make a hover effect so now it looks like it doesn't really look like a link too much so let us change this we go back to my cat 1 and I'm going to go to style. If you want to change hover effects, you can click on this little, you see if I hover over, it says hover style. So if you didn't notice yet, if you click on this, you will see it changes if I go away. The normal background, border and radius. And if I click on it, you see hover background, border and border radius. So these settings only pertain to the uh, hover settings. Yeah? So we might change the background on hover, like a whiter color. I don't think I want a really border radius. No, maybe maybe only three pixels, just a little bit. I can set some shadow, but that's not going to be necessary. Yeah, I think I just like it like this. It's just quite simple, but it looks nice, I think. Let me check. Yeah, so now you see, obviously, if I hover, this is like changing colors. So this looks more like a link to me now. Yeah, let me do the same for Cat2. Let me go to Style. And let me change this also. And then for cat3, let's do the same. Refresh. Cat1, cat2, cat3. So these have the border radius enabled. And this one doesn't. Yeah. So you see, it's quite easy once you know how it works to make a really awesome non-standard mega menu um, layout. And so these are just some of the basics i hope this was uh, helpful for you play around with it and uh, let me know if you uh, have any problems at all you can always leave a comment then i will be happy to look at it um, thanks for checking in if you want to help me out you can always uh, click on subscribe and leave a like and then i will see you in the next one bye bye